Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Fickleville, Texas. Fickleville. This is Fickle Rusty, the cap capricious Fickle Pickle, fixing to start up his car, his electric vehicle. Listen to this. And then, oh, I got to turn that down. And then along came Jones. And then I'm going to get this stuff off the window so we can see. How about that? Fickleville. <laughs> yep, that's me, guys. Oh, Mr. Fickle. I like that. That's a, you know, But at least I have an identity, you know. It's better than being unknown or just a blank spot in the universe. <laughs> yeah, I change my mind more often than I change underwear. Who cares? It's my mind, and I'll change it when I want to. <laughs> and on and on we go. Where are we going? I don't know. I keep forgetting. You know, I keep changing my mind. Actually, I do have another plan. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I know kidinky. But, you know, uh, guys, I'm 77. I know you know that. You probably get tired of hearing me say it. But, you know, on the bell curve of life, that does not leave you a lot of room to do a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So, uh, I want to do some things. You know, I just want to play with life. You know, like a cat plays with a mouse right before it eats it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, sometimes all my plans work out good and sometimes they don't. I got to talk to this lady in this golf cart and see what's going on. See what she's got, if she's got anything for me. <laughs> hey, there's my realtor. There's my realtor. Yeah, I haven't called him yet this morning. Oh, don't worry about it. I think that's them there in that truck. No, no that's Bob over there parked his truck there. Oh, just to make yeah, it. Yeah, they have a white Jeep. Well, you, let me tell you what. You just take your time, all right? Okay. Enjoy your day, and when you if you come up with something, you let me know. Okay. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> She's a nice lady. She's in her nine. Oh, she's no. I think she's eighty-three, and she walks that little dog. What's that got to do with being fickle? Nothing. <clears throat> but I've talked to her several times. She's really friendly, and she used to walk for exercise a lot. But anyway, she got some uh, foot problems and stuff. Anyway, but she keeps me up to date on what's going on around here because she knows she's in the know, you know, and. Uh, and I ask her about things, and so yeah, she's she's run up on something that she's keeping me up to date on right now. Yeah, but anyway, what's that got to do with being fickle? Everything, everything. She helps me be fickler. There's fickle, fickler, and ficklest. <laughs> you're the ficklest person I ever know, or you're the ficklerist. Capricious. That's another one. That's a, that, that word kind of sounds soft. Though, you know what I mean? capricious you know what i mean you could almost wear that word you know what i mean look i'm capricious you know but fickle you know is like you know it's like you're in a jar you know like a pickle <laughs> is this a good video hell yeah i did one of my this is one of my better ones you ought to catch a bad one <laughs> so we're driving guys we're out for my morning drive i'm here at fort clark springs texas on a January morning, 60 degrees right now, and uh, yeah, I wanted to chat with that woman just for a minute, because she is 83, and she did put me on to something, but I don't want her being concerned about it, you know, I want her to just enjoy her life and walk her dog, and and I'll just be the fickle man, fickler, fickler, fick, fickle, fickler, ficklest, ficklest. So here we go, guys, we're smoking along here at 29 miles an hour. Speed limit is probably 10. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But if I pass a car, I'm in a school zone. I know that. Why do I change my mind? Why do I? Well, because it's mine. I mean, I can't change your mind. Well, I might, but uh, it, it's not intentional. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, do, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm active. I, I want to do things, you know. I want to go see do. Go see do.
Where am I going this morning? I don't know. Just driving around. Did I forget my stuff? No. Ha <laughs> ha! Got my dark chocolate almonds and everything. Got me a Diet Dr. Pepper. Are they good for you? Oh, they're they're just healthy. I'm telling you. And uh, yeah, they are just wonderful for you. They're probably not good at all. But I, I drink one 12 ounce can a day. That's, why do I do that? Shit, I don't know. They tell me it has the same amount of caffeine about as a cup of coffee. That's weird, isn't it? But caffeine in small doses, they say, it is not bad for you. In other words, you know, like one cup of coffee a day, not bad. Ten cups, yo! So, what else, Rusty? Keep going, boy. Keep her going. Keep those wagons rolling, baby. 271 miles range on my Bolt electric car. How do I like it? Still like it, guys. I know it makes half of you angry and half of you happy, but uh, no, it's a it's been a good car for me. No kidding. And it's because of my driving habits. You know, I don't have to drive 500 miles a day round trip. I drive about, I don't know, 40 or 50 miles round trip on my morning drive. And then if I go to Del Rio to Texas to get groceries, that's round trip 70 miles. So on and on we go, guys, the fickle pickle. <laughs> Fickleness is next to godliness. That's not a religious statement because, see, there's all kind of gods. You know what I mean? There's the, there's gods of, there's like, the, uh, the, what is it? The Muslims and then the Jews and the Christians and the whoever else. Buddhism is not really a religion. Some people may think it is, but it ain't. Hinduism, now you talk about fickle. Yo. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. Yep, I enjoy these little morning drives. I get up and take the long walk. Come back, get in the car and take a little drive. And then go back and uh, think about what I'm going to have for lunch. Depends on how much time I have. I might read a little bit but usually i don't read in the mornings in the afternoons i'll read a book and they have a library here the county library kenny county k-i-n-n-y or is it e-y i think it's k-i-n-n-y i'm not sure but they have a whole section of free books yeah they got a lot of them. i mean most of them are what you'd expect you know but you know, some of them pretty good. Michael Crichton is that one? Yeah, I picked up one yesterday because I had to get a I had to get a warranty deed, a blank Texas warranty deed. Why? Well, part of my never-ending plans, guys. Part of the never-ending plan. What if life never ended? What if, what if you were born, and when you were born, you never died? It'd be a little crowded right now. <laughs> I that. I mean, we'd be stacked in here like cardwood, you know? <laughs> so, go out here and get on my country road, and I'll see if I can come up with a, something in my fickleness. You know, if you were a king, if I was a king, you could call me his, his fickleness. <laughs> or if I was knighted, I would be Sir Fickler. Is go ahead, DPS. I'm not going to try to bash you. Are you going somewhere, fellow? I don't know. I guess he's going to let me pass now. 
Oh, he's going to the dollar store. <laughs> oh, shit. How rude. Yeah, yeah, if I was knighted, it would be Sir Fickle. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, they're coming to take me away. Hey, hey, they're coming to take me away. And what has that got to do with with camping and and boondocking and RVing and all that stuff? Nothing. Not a daggum thing. We're going to go out here and turn left on my private road and drive for a little bit. Isn't this nice, though? Temperature, I think, well, right now it shows 62. Just because we're going to walk one. We're going 40 miles an hour now. Of course, we're going to turn. You don't want to turn at 60 miles an hour. Have you ever gotten something from, from Amazon and the packaging will say something like, you know, don't don't put this over your head. You know what I mean? You know, the plastic bag. Or don't let your children uh, wear it for a hat. You know, got a lot of stupid stuff. Now, this road right here, I don't remember the name of it offhand, but it's a nice drive. I'm going 33 miles an hour. Is that good? Yes, damn good. <laughs> because his fickleness likes to drive slow. Sir Fickle. <laughs> I like that. Give me a t-shirt that says Sir Fickle. <laughs> or, or his fickleness. <laughs> yes, sir. That old gal in that golf cart tickles me. She got a dog, some kind of bulldog thing. But she said it's about eight pounds overweight. And she's cut back on its food a little bit. And she takes care of that dog just like it's her child or better. And, uh, so three times a day, she drives around in her golf cart because she can no longer walk that far. And the dog trots alongside. And uh, it's uh, just, she's just, <laughs> she's a character. Sharp as a tack. Her mind is still very active. What would be the most fickle thing I could do? I've already done it. Go to bars. I did that. I did that. I did a video about it. No, I really did. You can check it out. Just search for my, just search my videos for bars and you'll find a couple of them. I was there. I actually was in my mind. What's the difference between being there in your mind or being there in reality? Speaking of reality, this is a great, this video has a nice smooth flow. You know what I mean? It's like one smooth topic that just continues, you know? But anyway, speaking, <coughs> my voice is, well, I got a, dark chocolate almond in my voice box, I think. But anyway, enough said. Speaking of reality, check out SpaceX Starship. Man, that is, that is like Buck Rogers, 1950. You know? But actually, Buck Rogers' spaceship was stainless steel. Sure was. But when it took off, if any of you guys can remember that Buck Rogers stuff, oh man, looked like a little firecracker, you know. <laughs> so funny, man. Buck Rogers. Yeah, and it's, he had Dick Tracy, remember that, the cartoons? And uh, 
there was one, I, don't, I think it was, was it, it was some guy in one of the cartoons that had a x-ray machine on his chest or built into his body and he'd, he'd raise up his shirt and give you a double whammy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was like two shots of, of x-rays, you know, a double whammy. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, I wish I could remember all those. What was that damn, uh, that elk and that squirrel? What was the name of that? Something in Bullwinkle. Yeah. Uh, anyway, they they, uh, they went. Look at all these wild turkeys right here. Are you kidding me? This is very rare, guys. This is like this is like running up on a. Uh, see, they can fly. Those are wild turkeys. They can fly, but they're not. They're more comfortable on the ground. But this is a whole tribe of them. Isn't that something? Let me zoom a little bit. See them? Now they don't normally, you don't normally see those. If you're hunting turkeys, you'll never see them. I promise you. I don't know how they know it, but they do. They're psychic or something. Maybe they're fickle too. I don't know. Whoops, wrong. Better. So let's turn it that way. How about that? Is that too much? Do that like that one. Too much. Let's go about right. Let's compromise. We'll do a compromise. Life is full of compromise. Where was I at? Oh, uh, Rocky. Oh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's it. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Anyway, there was a university that recruited. Uh, <laughs> they recruited that damn uh, elk or whatever it was uh, to be a, a kicker or something on their team. The name of the university was Wasamata U. <laughs> I had a t-shirt one time that had that on there. Wasamata U. <laughs> yeah. I had that um, eight-track tape to part of the video. You know what I mean? Can't play it on anything now. Wasamata U. They paid their, their uh, coaches more than they paid their, their professors, their teachers. In fact, they, they they said they could if they got rid of one coach, they could hire ten more science teachers. <laughs> I wonder if that happens today, huh? What do you think? Oh, I imagine money talk. You don't see a science stadium that'll seat eighty thousand people, do you? No, you don't see that. But we'll watch that football, boy. Get out of here. This is fun, eh? Just riding along, just talking to you guys, being fickle and capricious. It's easy to be, you know? Now, I gotta tell you, being fickle or and capricious is, uh, is easy. There's nothing to it. All you gotta do is, is just change. You know what I mean? And if you change, you're fickle. That's it. I mean, or you could be considered fickle. Yeah, you could. Anytime you change your mind, somebody says, boy, you're fickle. You're fickleness, or you're fickle. You're fickler. What a stupid word. Fickle. I mean. So, moving along, guys, on a, what is this? Wednesday morning, when will I post this video? I don't have a clue. I schedule them. I load them, schedule them, and then sometime they pop up. Sometimes I don't know when. Y'all you know, like that plan, the, the plan video? I, I forgot I had it out there. <clears throat> because it was, I had already modified it when it came out because I decided against the concrete. Too damn much trouble, man. Jeez. I mean, God, my, you know, you gotta get, it, it's not, well, never mind. you know the drill. It's hard to get people to do things in your mind, you think, well, I'll just call somebody that does concrete work, and they'll come out, and a week later, you'll have the concrete. That ain't the way it works. No, that is not the way it works. They come out, give you the highball estimate, or the highest, they, the highest they think they can get away with, and then they disappear. 
and they may or may not ever call you back. Thirty-two miles an hour on a road with absolutely no traffic, guys. Where in the world can you find this? Huh? Not many places. Around Capitan, New Mexico? Yeah, there's a road. Yeah, you can go out around uh, by Fort Stanton, the back way to Ruidoso. That's pretty good. And actually, the road from Capitan to Carrizozo is pretty light traffic, you know. Isn't this exciting, guys? How long has this thing? Oh, this thing been going 20 minutes. 20 exciting minutes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll let you go back to sleep. Uh, you know, nap time. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That nap time will start in a minute, guys. Anyway, thumbs up, fickle, fickle, fickle people. Carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, bye. Anything you want, use the Amazon link. Yeah, you, if you're going to buy something from Amazon, just click on the link, buy it, use that link. It doesn't cost you anything. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. And if you're fickle, be the best fickle person there is. Be damn good at it. Don't just be a medium fickle. Be a full-blown fickle pickle. Bye.